OK, so here we have in a kind of a blurry way, f of x equals the square root of x. I'll write that again, f of x <clears throat> equals the square root of x, which is the same thing as y equals the square root of x. And this is what it looks like. And it keeps going up forever and out to the right forever. Now, if I want to shift this up vertically, so I'll write the words now. This is what I've just done is I've taken this graph and I've moved it up to units. Notice that this plus two is on the outside of the square root sign. That makes it a vertical shift up. Here we have a vertical shift down for units. And so we took the basic graph of the square root function and just physically moved it down for units with a few little extra marks. Oh, I can't get rid of them now. Okay. But this is a vertical shift down. Okay, vertical shift down. How do I know? Well, let me write the word down. This minus four is on the outside of the square root sign. This is the basic function and this on the outside of the basic function behind it to the far right is the vertical shift. So this is the vertical shift. And this is the basic function. I want us to look at this. Nice graph, pretty simple. I want to turn it upside down, which, which is technically called reflecting it across the x-axis. All I have to do is stick a minus sign in front of it, a negative. And that turns it upside down. Is that the only kind of reflection we have? Heck no. Suppose I decide that I wanted to, and I have to erase this afterwards. Suppose I decide I want to take this and shift it over there, but make it look better. That would be a shift, a reflection across the y-axis. Can I do that? Absolutely. This way. I take f of x. Ugh, I don't want it to be blue. Okay. I take f of x 
or y equals, oh, I'm not going to put anything in front anyway. Equals the square root of x, which of course would be the basic graph, which is over here. And then if I put a minus sign on the inside of the square root sign, right in front of the x, that's what happens. It starts going the other way. It's the mirror image across the y axis. So this is called a reflection across the y axis. So you've got a reflection across the x axis if you put a, a negative sign in front of the square root of x. You've got a reflection across the y axis if you put a negative sign on the inside of the square root in front of the x. Now watch what happens if you kind of get a wild hair and decide, huh, what would happen if I put a negative on the outside and a negative on the inside? Well, that's called a reflection across the origin. Your original graph, well, I will make it blue. Your original graph was here. The mirror image, the diagonal image, but it's a mirror image across the origin is that. So this is f of x or y equals the square root of x. This is Let's say y equals um, um, negative the square root of negative x. It can be real fun to play with these on a graphing calculator. I'm sure you have better things to do, but I don't know. It'd be fun, especially if you have kids, you can show them. That would get them all excited about math. OK, but back to math. We have our basic function. Let's get rid of that. Don't want any confusion. Right here. We have our basic graph. Now I moved it up and down, right? There it is, moving it up and down. Now, if I put the plus two underneath the square root radical, that moves the basic function two units to the left. So this is a horizontal shift. Horizontal means sideways. Horizontal shift. To the left. And remember how you find out for sure. If this is x plus 2 equals 0, subtract 2 from both sides. And you find out whether you're going to the left or right. You find out where x needs to be, or where the origin needs to be, or where the beginning of the graph needs to be. That's much better. And over here, now I chose these numbers for a reason, so let me go back over here. 
you had a vertical shift here. You took the basic graph and you moved it up two units by putting a plus two on the outside of the basic function. If you take that plus two and put it inside the square root radical, then you move the basic graph to the left two units. So they do different things. This moves the graph up, this moves the graph to the left. And I did the same thing over here. This was our vertical shift down. But if I put the minus four underneath the square root, it becomes a horizontal shift to the right four units. Horizontal shift, sideways shift, right. So these are your shifts. And you're going to meet some other transformation, transformations along the way. So let's look at the homework.